Today I'm going to show you how to make your Mixamo material show up while using Redshift in Cinema 4D. First we're going to download a character and an animation from Mixamo. Now in Cinema 4D I've already got a scene set up that I just want to import the character to so I go to File, Merge, Objects and then I select my character. I then highlight both my character and the joints that go with it by holding Shift and clicking on each one of those items and then holding down Alt on the keyboard, type G and then that will put them into a new null object. I then just reposition the null so we can see the character and hopped out of my camera and turned on a different area light that I had on the scene so you can really see that these materials aren't showing up in the redshift render view and the reason they're not showing up is because they're not redshift materials so then we're going to go over to our material manager and highlight any material that coincides with our character and the one that I selected only has one so with that material highlight we're going to go to create redshift tools convert and replace all materials. Now if we click into this Redshift material, we can see that we have these textures that are showing up as black on there. But if you click on one individual texture, you can see the file path name. And this is the key to fixing this problem. So in the file path name, we're looking for the character name. This one is called character three. So we go into our computer downloads and search CH03 and see what comes up. And now here we can see four different textures that belong to this character. So I highlight them all and drag them into our redshift material and click no for the pop-ups. Now we're just going to link these textures for where they need to go. So the normal map goes with the bump map, the diffuse goes for the diffuse color, the glossiness for the reflection texture, and the specular for the reflection weight. And you can delete all those old textures that are no longer connected to a node. And now we can see that nothing has happened to our character in the redshift render view and that's because we need to delete that texture and apply our new redshift texture. And then that's it. That's how you make your Mixamo texture show up in redshift. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.